the Arizona desert might seem a strange place to meet the only living British golfer with a knighthood. But following a career of producing quality shots, Sir Nick Faldo now calls them on the American airwaves. Mind you, when club was first traded for microphone, the phrase, baptism of fire, came to mind. It's, it's unbelievable how they sit you down in front of a thing and they put the earphones on you and they say, hit that button for the producer and that button for cough. And that's it, that's your training. I'm still slightly amazed that I went to the TV tag because I can honestly say when I was out there playing, I thought was well, the last thing I'm going to do after being out on tour for 28 weeks away from everybody is to go come back to a tournament and talk about it. But hey, it kind of happened. I said to myself right at the beginning, I'm just going to talk golf. I'm not going to get involved in anything else. I don't, that I definitely don't know about. Be as honest, if you don't know, just say, I don't know anything about that. There's no harm in that. That is the right way to go. Just talk golf. Yeah, I wouldn't get personal. I might try to describe how he's hit the golf shot and I try and explain why. So obviously if he's hit a great shot, I go, wow, that's fantastic, isn't that great? He did this, he did that. And if he's hit a cow, a cow of a shot or a pig's ear, make it a pig's ear of a hole, you kind of want to say that as well. And you go with that and you say, well, that was awful. That was dreadful. I'm trying to explain best I can the difference between a great shot and a, a lousy one. If we've got an amazing scene and the tension is right there, you don't have to go, this is really tense, and it's an electric out there, because you can almost feel it coming through your, the screen. Regular tour events, you, you can gas away because it's a bit more entertainment, but the majors, we, yeah, we're all kind of, either we kind of know, or gently reminded, let the picture do the talk. If you can't beat the picture, Faldo has vast knowledge and the authority derived from being there, done that. He's a former world number one who captured six major titles, three Opens, three Masters. It's the ultimate of all the emotions and the pressure of doing it. I mean, that was really it. I mean, that's the coolest thing. As I harp on and now on TV, I, you know, I say it doesn't matter how you play Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's how, how do you play Sunday afternoon? That's what really matters. I'm more of a friend to the players now than I was as a player. I'm an example I give. I walked down the, the range one time to V moons ago. We were at Atlanta when I just started. We've only been out a couple of years. And he turned to me and said, what's the secret? He said, what's your secret? And I went like that. And he went, huh. He said, mine's. So we were telling each other without, and which I'd never do something if I walked down the range in my day. And they said, what's the secret? I'd have, I'd have told him. Stand on one leg and swing it like that. So, so. Pro golf is pretty exciting. I think, um, you know, we've got a multitude of different characters. Uh, they play a completely different game now. I, arguably, I would say my generation, me, Seve, Norman, Pricey, Langer, uh, Lazarus, I, I believe we were better golfers. These guys have a completely different style. The equipment's different, they smash it, chase after it. They're fine players, but I think we would have stood out really well our, our era against this lot. Sir Nick's competitive juices have begun flowing again. He's decided to enter a number of senior tour events, and of course he remains fully committed to the ever more international Faldo series that's been nurturing future champions for 18 years. We play uh, about 42 events in 32 different countries. We have probably more than 7,000 golfers compete. We have two grand finals at the moment, one in Mission Hills in China. And then we have our other final, which we brought last year to um, the Greenbrier in West Virginia. So we basically have two finals with 100 kids or so come to that. And, it's, and we're trying to expand that, trying to go global. And Faldo's on the road himself, commentating from here at the WGC Accenture match play to the Masters and beyond. He's now a seasoned wordsmith. As you know, my trademark was never finishing a sentence, and I think of, you know, because it's tough. I mean, live TV, it's because all of a sudden there's another picture. You know, you're busy talking about it, and suddenly there's another picture, and my mind goes ching ching chung. So, um, so now I hope I'm getting better at that, just trying to explain less is more, you know, concentrate on one thing. So it's, it's taken 10 years and, you know, I know I haven't got it yet, but, you know, I think I'm better. Thinking inside the box, 